Hi folks, Jamie here again, and today is going to be a quick tutorial on how to hardtail, let's say if you have a floating bridge, like for example, like this Chapman M01, and you're, let's say you're fed up with your guitar going out of tune because of this bridge, even if you press up the wire bar, I find even one string goes out of tune, which can be very annoying. So, but there is a way you can actually hardtail this, and I find a way that, I know a way that's very effective, very cheap. And completely reversible. What I use is some old coins. So let's get started. First things first is loosen strings. I have this wire wa tool set which is very good for, for around 120 euros. You definitely have everything you need. So first things first is loosen the old strings. If you need to restrain your guitar, you can take these strings off and then do the whole procedure. But in this case, since these are only been put on recently, I, I'll leave it. So, next step to do is to undo the back plate. So, I'm going to pause the video and do that now. I just have to undo these six screws. Okay, I have the trim taken off the guitar. And as you see, you get like three springs. And also, depending on your, if you see here, it depends on your cavity, you might need at least three, maybe four coins, depending on the gaps. So, what first thing, next thing I do is I loosen the spring claw, which is held together by these two screws. So I'm going to loosen the spring claw now. Okay, so, we loosen up the spring claw, so you have to loosen it until the springs are a little wobbly. So, I reckon like 15 turns on each screw should do. To do the job. Of course it all varies depending on your guitar. So what well, well, else you'll need not only the coins is you also need any type of tape. It can be first aid tape, painter's tape, even sticky tape or cell tape as we call it here in Ireland. It doesn't matter as long as it's tape. And then what you do is you get like a bunch, you bundle up your coins like like so and but well, before you start sticking them together check to see if that's what you need, if you need to add more or add less. So, I'm just gonna check that. I might need to add two more, I can tell already. So I'm gonna do that now and just add two more coins for this. So I, I actually need six coins for this part here. So I'm gonna stick them up, stick them together now. And Okay, there they are all taped together. Now it doesn't have to be neat or tidy. It doesn't have to look perfect. It, they just have to, it's just enough to keep them moving about in the trim and to stop them. Now some people super glue them. I don't recommend them. Because just in case you never know, you might need the coins. Nah, only kidding of course, but it's just I wouldn't recommend super glue. Not, not a good idea. Just tape will do. And then it's just a matter of just sticking them down in your trim. Like so. Now you might need the whammy bar for this, so I'm just gonna get gonna get that now and I'm gonna actually I'm gonna actually I'm gonna actually um, Yeah just move up the whammy bar a bit. It helps if you have the whammy bar, so we're just gonna So I'm just gonna move this forward and I'm gonna stick these coins stick these coins in the trunk. And to turn over, as you can see, if the camera can pick that up, I have like two coins jammed here and four here. And four, four coins jammed here and two coins jammed down there. And as you can, as you can, I'm going to tune this up and I'm going to show you the finished product. Okay, as you can see, I have the guitar tuned up and all and it's, and it's a lot solid around here. As you can hear, it's holding tuning perfectly. I just tuned up this guitar, and of course, I put the back plate back on, and now the tuning is completely solid. Still, like a hard hill bridge now. 
and it's a lot, a lot better. Now, it's the idea for those of you who are finding it hard to keep their trem in tune, and you find, and you find it's just gone so annoying you have to tune your guitar every time you want to play it. This is the easiest and cheapest way to do it. It cost me less than a euro, and it's completely reversible. So I can easily take those coins out if I want to do it again. But the tape is to not only to stop the coins from moving about, it's also to protect the paint, even though it doesn't really matter because of the inside of the trim. So, so I hope this tip. Now, what I used was one cent and two cent coins. Now, these are euro coins, of course, but it might vary. In America, you could probably use like nickels, five cent coins, or you could use like. 10 cent coins in New Zealand or in Australia, that'll work. But just experiment with your coins to find which one is the right ones for this job. Of course, try to use the small amount of coins. They'll work out cheaper, obviously. So I hope this tip will help your trim stay in tune a lot better. For those who are fed up using the trim, this is the, cheap, this is the cheapest way and easiest way to do it. And I think it's stronger than using wood. Overall, comment, rate, subscribe.